Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 29th of June to the 5th of July 2020. I hope you're well Sagittarius. Okay, one card has come out. We have the Four of Cups. That is your overarching message for the week. Okay, so let's see what else we get Sagittarius so what do we have angel spirits guides for Sagittarius okay deep dark sea mermaid find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness finding solutions Okay, angels, what is the message for Sagittarius, please? Message for our lovely Sagittarians, 29th of June to the 5th of July, 2020, please. <laughs> I love this. There's a feeling of be open to receive. You see the abundance, the coins, the energy. Gorgeous. Okay. So, Sagittarius, as always, I pull four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we will go deeper into the message with clarifying the cards. It won't resonate for everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. Three of Cups. <clears throat> Oh, it's interesting that I said it about receiving. It's your time to receive. Did I say that? This is that card. This is your challenge, however. We have the King of Swords. Card of Aquarius for me as a reader. And we have the Lover's Card of Gemini. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table, please, for Sagittarius? Twenty ninth of June to the fifth of July, twenty twenty. Please, can we clarify the cards on the table, starting with the Three of Cups for Sagittarius? Please, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. It's interesting. Some of the cards are similar to Leo here. Um, Eight of Cups. Again, the Four of Cups is here. Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, and we have the Page of Cups. Six of Pentacles, again Sagittarian energy, we have the Ten of Wands. Oh, Lovers, again, card of Gemini. This is the advice from Spirit. And the Lovers. We have the Four of Pentacles clarifying the Lovers here as well. Queen of swords is bottom of the deck so i'm going to get some clarifiers for this sagittarius okay let's clarify the king of swords please Let's clarify the King of Swords, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have Lovers again for the third time now. <laughs> and we have the Page of Cups again for the second time. And let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Again, I've got the Eight of Cups. Oh, 
Okay, Sagittarius, so it's interesting that this card came out because we have deep dark sea mermaid. Find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness. And we have there's a feeling of I feel with this energy, the abundance, it's time to bring abundance back into your life if you feel it's been lacking in any way. Um, and maybe refocus your energy on what is going to bring you abundance. Because the four of, four of Cups can be about deep thought. You might be in deep thought on how to move forward in a situation. You may well be in deep thought in terms of a relationship maybe. I'm getting a lot of relationship energy because it is can the season of Cancer, which is to do with our emotions, our feelings. Um, home, family, you kind of get what I'm saying, can be to do with relationships. So again, this Four of Cups is somebody who is beginning to see the way forward. Sometimes the Four of Cups can mean, it, can, it is emotional energy, our emotions and feelings. And sometimes we see this person cross-legged, cross-armed, under a tree, because partly because they're in deep thought but they're also being nudged by the universe given answer from the universe on how to move forward how to get out of the kind of stagnating emotionally absorbing energy this can be where there's boredom this can be where you might have been through an emotional roller coaster and you just don't see the way forward i certainly feel for some of you you are finding the way forward or finding answers this week Now, Sagittarius, the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away, walking away from something, saying goodbye to something um, that hasn't lived up to expectation or promise because for some of you, you want that Ninth Cup that's missing here. You see? You want more. You want to feel completely fulfilled on every level. You want the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card, your hopes, dreams and wishes fulfilled. And this person walks away. They abandon their hopes, dreams and wishes here and focus on a new one because something hasn't lived up to promise or expectation in whatever, for whatever reason. And there is a realisation it's time to move on, having given it some deep thought. Now again, you're being given the Divine Nudge card. It's time to move forward. I feel there has been some closure here. I think it is about finding closure in a situation. Three of Cups can be about closure as well. And I certainly feel, for some of you, you are clear. If you've walked away from somebody or they've walked away from you, this is you taking action to move on from that, I feel. And not just physically, emotionally moving on from it because this is such an energizing um, card and it's your card Sagittarius the eight of wands which can be a card of, of taking action towards moving forward to new conversations new opportunity new connections it is the big shift card it's the energy shift as well and I certainly feel for some of you there is a shift in energy uh, things start picking up pace, things start progressing. I feel when you finally allow yourself to move on from whatever was keeping you stuck, whatever you've given deep thought to, whatever you could have felt a little bit emotionally stagnant about, I feel for some of you, you are ready to close the book on it. And certainly with this, there's an energy, Saturn in Sagittarius, something that you need to break free of. Uh, because... There's a feeling that you've learnt these lessons from the past, but now's not the time to hold on to them anymore. You know, and there's a feeling of holding on, holding on, you know, in this reading. Uh, the Eight of Wands is carrying heavy burdens that may have built up over some time. And it can be linked with the past, the past journey here. And obviously, this is about having an energy shift, taking action towards a new path, making new connections. Could be online as well for some of you. So I certainly feel Sagittarius, there's a big message that when you allow yourself to put down the burdens and put your energy in the right direction, it's your time to receive. It's a gorgeous energy. I can't believe Lovers has come out three times. <laughs> it's the card of Gemini. So some of you might be having some 
uh, communication, a serious conversation with somebody this week. I feel there's new love here. We have the card of Aquarius or card of Gemini here, air energy anyway, which is where you're getting clarity in your mind on how to move forward, how to see the bigger picture. And I feel it's to do with this, this cup. I feel it's to do with how you want to move forward in love. Now the page of cups here can talk about new love coming into your life potentially. I'm feeling that quite strongly. I'm going to get an extra card. Let's get another card for the lovers and the advice from spirit, please. Let's get another card for the lovers and the advice from spirit for Sagittarius, please. 29th of June to the 5th of July. Let's get another card, please, for the lovers. Okay. I. This is a, a transition energy. You're detaching from something that has gone and you're moving towards calmer waters now. Some of you, and I feel this here, you're relocating, um, could be moving jobs, moving home, having walked away from a, a relationship or somebody walked away from you. Um, it's a powerful energy, Sagittarius. I certainly feel for some of you. Any other message, please, for Sagittarius with regard to three lovers cards? Thank you. What are these three lovers, please? What are these three lovers? Ten of Cups. Yeah. So I feel you're, you're detaching from something that has gone, something that has been a burden to you, and you're moving towards something better. I do. I think for some of you, there is a strong offer of love. I mean, I've got three, a new conversation. Yeah. That's it. A new conversation. Somebody new might be coming into your life. Now, this can be about conversations leading to solid opportunities. And I feel this is it because this is the rainbow of blessings, the happy ever after card, your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true for you and everybody involved in the situation. It's a real soulmate relationship here, which is why really when I'm getting three lovers energies, it, it is a powerful, powerful card and um, of of love here so i certainly feel there's somebody ahead somebody ahead coming into your life that you are absolutely meeting it's an offer of love it could be an aquarius or gemini definite air energy because we have all the three air signs so libra aquarius gemini here but I certainly feel there is some communication in terms of love. Somebody who has your missing cup, yes. Somebody who has the missing cup with the Eight of Cups. Somebody who offers this, what you've been looking for. And yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The only thing that will hold you back is you holding on or being afraid or fear or doubt or uncertainty stopping you from moving on from what this was all about because i certainly feel for some of you there may well be some communication and i you know this aquarian energy is quite strong here and um, it doesn't have to be an air sign it's just the energy of, of the air signs are to do with communication as well communication thoughts clarity seeing the bigger picture truth of the situation getting perspective in your mind so the air signs are all down to that and I think that's what's happening here as well. I, I kind of feel there's a liberation with this King of Swords as well, liberating yourself from what's gone and allowing yourself to focus on a new vision. And I feel it's a new conversation with somebody. Don't let fear hold you back, Sagittarius. Don't let what's gone before as well, the difficulty that you've had in the past, cloud, you embracing something new here i do feel for some of you it is breaking free of what you've what you've moved away from and allowing new new, new conversation communication being open to receive someone new it's interesting because we have the queen of swords now this is a libra energy 
So you have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra here. The Queen sees the truth of the situation. She makes judgments by getting clarity of the mind, as does the King of Swords. You know, but she holds her hand out to receive. And I certainly feel that even though you somebody's walked away from you or you've walked away from them, I I kind of feel now is your time to receive. Yeah, be open to receive. It's your time to receive something new in your life. So don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back from that. It's a powerful energy, Sagittarius. It really is. I think there is new love coming into your life. And it's three lovers cards. But so don't stay. This is very much something. There's something better ahead. You're being guided. This is the divine nudge card. Even though some of you may have been through an emotional time, there's something better ahead. It's time to take action. And why do you, why do you have to take action? Because there's a new connection, somebody new coming into your life out of the blue, where there's a something solid forming between you. And I think there's greater, greater abundance, reward, happiness, fulfillment ahead. Yeah, what should I say? A solid opportunity. And we have the Hermit. Now the Hermit is finding answers from within and acting upon them in your external environment. I feel this is again a solid opportunity coming your way, which is linked to this Page of Cups. What you've been looking for. Somebody who means what they say. Somebody who you can build something with. And it could be a Virgo. I mean, like I said, we've got air energy, we've got Virgo here. But the Virgo is all about healing. And it's time for that new start now. You've been on the healing process. You've found answers from within. You've soul searched. You've been in that life transition. And now it's time for you to find answers from within and how to move forward in your external environment. And I feel it's to do with some news or a new opportunity coming your way. I feel it's to do with somebody. This three lovers cards. It's beautiful. I can't believe there's three lovers cards here. So something big, major arcana is something big. Yeah. And it's time to find new hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. You know, we have news here, positive news the divine nudge card telling you there's something you need to move forward in this direction now you're being given answers from within because there's three lovers cards here so I feel for some of you there is powerful new love here beautiful I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you Sagittarius and I will see you next time thank you